everyone, I have a huge collection of bronzers, but I've decided to pare it down to the seven or so that I use on a rotating basis and one new one that just showed up on my doorstep that I just had to show you because it's really pretty. So let's start with my drugstore options. I am not including the new Physicians Formula Body Butter that I just hauled because I haven't really used it enough to decide if I love it that much. Let's just start with my tried and trues. So first, let's start with one where the packaging has worn off. This is the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer Powder in the shade Golden Days. It is an absolutely beautiful baked bronzer. It is perfect for fair, fair skin girls. I guess that goes without saying, considering I look like this and I actually have some bronzer on. I do feel like I need a little bit more. So before we go on, I wanna show you how I apply my bronzer. I use a big fluffy brush. This is from the Coastal Sense um, Pearl Handled Brush Travel Set that I have been using forever and I just keep re- I love it so much. And I'm gonna use my computer monitor and I just start at the temples and kind of swirl it around and brush it across the forehead and do a little bit more over here. I like to go across my nose because that's where sun goes, on the jawline, down the neck. I'll, I'll go everywhere. I mean, can there be too much bronzer? Well, yeah, that's better. I This is not a matte bronzer. It definitely has some shimmer in it. I don't see any glitter. It's just gives a glow. I wouldn't use this as a contour. This one falls into the glow category, warmth and glow. Next on my favorites list is from Milani. This is another baked bronzer. This is in the shade 04 Glow, and it is in rather bulky packaging. I don't love the Milani packaging because it has this crazy flip. I'm not gonna use any kind of brush that's in there, so I wish it were just a thinner, more compact compact, but getting past that, this is a beautiful, again, not matte bronzer, a shimmer, no glitter in here. There are uh, threads of gold running through this. And this is, for me, a almost perfect dupe for a highlighter. I'm gonna show you in a little a highlighter, a bronzer. I'm so excited, I just can't get my words right. This is a pretty close dupe for a very high-end bronzer that I'm gonna show you in a little while. Um, there's really no reason why I would choose one or the other over the other one. This one's a little more redder undertoned, and I would say that the Makeup Revolution one is a little more golden in undertone. Next, we have kind of a different drugstore option. This one's from e.l.f. You've seen this before. I can't remember the exact name of it. This is in the shade Natural. It's hard to find online. I have found this in store at Target. If I can find it online, I'll link it, but if you're really interested in grabbing this, just head over to your Target and see if it's there. These are little tiny powder pearls, very similar to the Guerlain Meteorites concept. These don't, much, don't so much bronze as just warm up the face, bring your really pale skin tone, maybe one shade darker. You can't really use this to contour. It's hard to get them onto the brush, but it, it just, especially in the winter, this was my go-to warm up shade for winter time. And it's all really a matte to satin finish there. Now we jump into the, I don't wanna call them high-end bronzers, some are, but the non-drugstore bronzers that I use all the time. This one is an oldie but a goodie. If you're a long time watcher, you'll recognize this. Let me know if you've been around to see this. This is the Sephora brand bronzer in the shade Los Cabos. It is a matte, light kind of chocolate brown shade. It's pretty good for contouring, um, maybe a little warm, but uh, you can use it for contouring, but again, this is, kind of just to warm up the edges of the face. Um, if you don't want any kind of shine on your face, this is, this is a great bronzer option and it's a less expensive option than the other brands that you can get in Sephora, Ulta, department store type. Um, there are other shades in this line, but I think this is the only one that I know of that is a matte shade. Next is another matte bronzer. And this is, I just, I love it. I don't know if I love it more because it smells so good or because it doesn't, it's not streaky. Again, this is a matte shade. This is the Too Faced Soleil Milk Chocolate Bronzer. It is a very light tone bronzer. Great again for fair skin, but I've noticed as I get into the summer months, this just doesn't do it for me. There is just a regular chocolate shade, not milk chocolate, that I think I might pick up um, soon. I'm debating if I pick up this one or if I try the Physician's Formula butter bronzer in the darker shade. But this is a lovely, beautiful, very mature woman friendly bronzer and one of my all time favorites. 
Next, this is a very well-loved, very old bronzer. It is on its last legs. This is a classic. It's Benefit Hula, and it's just the one shade. I have hit, this is my second one. I've hit pan on this as well. This is a similar concept to the other matte bronzers I've shown you, but it's a deeper, warmer tone. Um, so if you are slightly more medium or normal, <laughs> I, I'm at one end of the spectrum as far as color goes. So if you're in the more of the middle of the bell curve for skin tone, this is a great bronzer for you. I have used this more often lately to actually be a crease color in my eyeshadow. It blends so beautifully. Again, it's not streaky, no real odor to this, but that just might be because it's so darn old. It's a classic for a reason. It's a great, great bronzer. And my last high-end bronzer, and um, this is a favorite as well. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in the shade. This is the lighter of the two options. They have luminous light. There is a darker version as well. This one has no shimmer in it per se, but it does add a glow. It is beautiful. It is slightly too dark for me to use in the winter time, believe it or not but in the uh, spring and summer months, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous option. I've used this almost daily last summer and you can barely, there's just the tiniest little divot in here. If this price is a little too steep for your pocketbook, however, I know they don't look identical here, but when you put them on your face, the effect is nearly identical and certainly you can't tell the difference. You really can't tell the difference. So if you um, want to achieve the look of Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, but you don't want to splash out the 40 something odd dollars for it, might be more now, grab the Milani bronzer. You will not be disappointed. So those are the ones that I use on a rotating basis. There's almost no reason or rhyme to it. I just kind of like to try different ones, but these are the ones that stay on my makeup counter all the time and then this one just showed up and I'm just showing you this because I think the packaging is really cool and I don't know if it's permanent or limited edition so I wanted to get it out there for you. This is new from the Estee Edit which is a new collection from Estee Lauder. It's got this really funky packaging. I have to hold it down like this so it doesn't reflect light. It has this silver edging and then this weird kind of white spray painted over this way spray painted feature. You pop it open. They sent me the shade medium deep, which is not going to work for me. I will give it to someone who it will work for. It's called the Barest Bronzer. Great mirror. Travel wise, the mirror side is huge. And then you have the actual um, bronzer itself. Most of it, this you have this little highlighting piece here and then all around here is the matte shade. And there, it's very red toned. It's, it's a deep dark shade for me. I mean, that's barely touched. It's very pigmented. It's very soft. And I just thought you might want to take a look at this and go check it out in person if you want. Swatch it over. I know it's at Sephora. And I just think it looks really cool. It's also not flat. There are little ridges all along it. Not sure what that's for. So those are the bronzers plus one new one that uh, just came my way. It's very dark. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if there are any other makeup products that you want to know, like what are my go-tos? What are the ones that I rotate on a regular basis? I would be happy to do more in this series. As always, thank you so much for watching. Everything I've mentioned is listed in the description box below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I'm about to do a full get ready with me from start to finish, so get yourself something to drink, put your feet up, and let's get going. I am recreating a look that I did in 